subscribe to big hut india channel and press the bell icon to watch best agriculture related videos Late blight of potato caused by the Oomycete phytophthora infestans is one of the most serious diseases affecting potato crops worldwide. The primary symptoms of Phytophthora infestans infection are brown lesions at the base of the stem, in the leaf axils, and on the leaves. In humid weather, this damage spreads rapidly. On the underside of the leaves, a typical whitish growth of the pathogen can be seen. It consists of a dense aggregation of branched hyphae, sporangia fours, bearing lemon-shaped sporangia, the reproductive organs of Phytophthora infestans. When picked up by the wind, countless sporangia are spread throughout the crop and far beyond it. Sporangia that land on a potato leaf when the weather is damp and warm often germinate by forming a germ tube. This process is called direct germination. At lower temperatures, indirect germination prevails. Motile zoospores are released. After attaching to the leaf surface, they transform into roundish cysts. The cysts germinate by forming a germ tube. From its tip, an infection hypha enters the interior of the leaf. A mycelium forms. Its hyphae spread between the leaf cells. With the help of finger-like hostoria, the parasite draws nutrients from the cells of its host plant. The damaged cells die off and the mycelium spreads further into neighboring leaf tissue that is still alive. Thus, green leaf area is increasingly lost. From hyphae on the edge of the damaged leaf tissue, sporangia fours develop, growing out of the leaf through stomata, bearing a new generation of sporangia ready to be spread by wind or rain. This cycle of sporangial dissemination, release of zoospores, infection of a host plant, mycelium formation in the leaf, and sporulation can continue repeating, especially if weather conditions are moist. Infection pressure increases exponentially and more and more plants show the typical late blight symptoms. The damaged leaf area increases rapidly from day to day. Often the stems with dead leaves hanging from them are all that remain. The tubers remain small, but the risk of yield loss is far higher if sporangia are washed into the soil by rain. The zoospores released from the sporangia move between the soil particles and thus reach the surface of the tubers. They often infect the tubers through natural openings in their skin. In storage, tubers infected by Phytophthora infestans are recognized by irregular blue-gray spots on their surfaces. With time, these spots sink in slightly. Often, infected tubers are additionally colonized by soft rot bacteria. Thank you for watching. For more such videos, please like, share, and subscribe to Big Hat India channel.